don't have anything doing at the skills acquisition center. Thursdays are always free for me. Hmm, I found you. I envy you. You are the head of the center and Thursdays are free days for you. Unlike me. Why didn't you go to school today? I did. I saw you when I was going to school. But when I got to school, I was not feeling fine. So I took permission from the headmaster. But you don't look sick. I found it was because of you. You mean you left your work because of me? Yes. From the first day I set my eyes on you, you made my body go around the shanka. And I've never been myself since then. I've been looking for a man that will update my emotions, but... Is that why you're not married? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. But you're much older than I am. Hey, Afro. I, I, I love you and I want you to love me as well. In love, age is not a barrier in love. Miss, I think you're going too far. I gave you audience because of my auntie, who is your colleague. Afro, don't break my heart. How? I don't have anything to do with you. Afama, I, I, I love you and I want you to marry me, please. You, you won't understand how I feel. Afama, please, I love you. I love you, I want you to marry me. You won't understand how I feel. You are going nowhere. Uncle Walter. Eh? Good afternoon, sir. Miss Mwelekebe? What is the new technology you discovered in my compound that you want to acquire? Eh? Sir, I, I want... Mwelekebe! When did my compound become Mecca that you want to turn into a pilgrimage center? Afam, I can see you have become the Kaaba. Uncle. Eh? I did not do anything. Patricia! Mwelekebe! You are the butterfly that thinks itself a bird. Eh? You are too old. To marry this young man. Eh? Your ugliness contrasts with his handsomeness. Go and find your level. Afam, I don't want to see this vomit in this compound again. Mazi DK, I don't know what I've done to you that made you to hate me like this. You want me to answer that question? Okay, ask yourself why you have become a husband hunter. Why you want young boys who are young enough to be your grandchildren to, to, to marry? Eh? Oh. Look at her. Turning Brutox that look like two big balls of fufu that are kept on check with our uncle. And one twine. Eh? Afam, just look at the kind of Brutox you want to import into this compound. Eh? It is hotel. This is hotel. Okay. Let me see my little bit in this my compound. Okay? And I, I, I'll know how to do it. Are you not a match fixer? Or is it because I've not penalized you for match fixing? Nah, you are confusing me the more. What have I done? You wanted her from to give victory to Miss Mwelekebe, is it not true? And you wanted Miss Mwelekebe to steal a mandate that doesn't belong to you. Nah, how? Iwanda. Iwanda. I caught her outside, wooing her from to marry her. Nani, me? My humble self? Nani, you are accusing me falsely. False accusation. Me. Then call Afam and ask him. Chikode, I am ashamed of you. Afam! I am ashamed Afam. of you! Afam, Iwanda. 
husband almost slapped me because of Miss Nelegedi. Please, Emma, advise me on what to do. I want to go to her house, but I said, let me see you first. Chigodil, I will advise you to keep quiet. Emma, I must put an end to this embarrassment. All along, I thought she was joking. But now, the snake has entered the dry pan front. Please, Chigodil. I want to buy this fight. <laughs> I don't want you to do anything because both of you teach in the same school. And she's close to the headmaster more than you. Hmm? She will tell. Eh -eh. Let her do anything. Chikodi, I want you to go home. Hmm? By the time I finish with her, she, if she sees you, she will run. She will seek for transfer to another school that is outside that way. Look at Patricia Mwelekebe wants to take what belongs to me. That is not possible now. A thief cannot steal what belongs to somebody whose eyes are wide open. It is not possible. It's not possible. Ma, I've heard you. Yes! Go home and rest. Just go home, eh? Okay. I will handle it. Okay. Look at Miss Wellegebe. Oh, baby pancake. <laughs> Old Mama Yongi. Old Mama Yongi. Old Mama Yongi. <laughs> You are calling me, Mama. Look at you. Old, unmarried grandmother calling me, Mama. Let me tell you, I am older than you by just five years. And you are calling me, Mama. Because you are finding it difficult to get married. You still think you are a tata. Come and suckle my breast. Come and suckle my breast. Just because I greeted you, that is why you are. Hey! hey, hey. Don't greet me. I don't need your greeting. Now listen to me. I don't ever want to see you enter the case compound again. Do you hear me? Does it belong to you? Look at you. You still have the mouth to talk. You are not ashamed of yourself. Look at this old cargo. You went to beg a small boy, one young uncle. Young enough to be your son to marry you. Look at you. You are not ashamed of yourself. That was why you sneaked out of school today. You think we don't know? Now let me warn you. Don't talk to Afame again, oh! No. If you do, you will only end up in initiating yourself in endless troubles and problems. Don't talk to me again. I've had enough of that. Leave this compound. Leave my compound for me. Huh? Is this your compound? Yes, it's my compound. It's my father's compound. So it belongs to me. Mom! I concur. I concur. I quite agree with you. Inside out. <laughs> your father's compound now belongs to you. Invariably, you are now married to your father. If you don't, Nagano. Miss Baribo, ancient miss, you are correct. I want to advise you. Hmm? Uh, don't ever think about marriage again. Hmm. Because, look at that gun. 
The time is gone. <laughs> no man will ever marry you again. <laughs> you soon pass the age of giving birth. You have only one year. One year left. So I will advise you, go and look for all these old men around. Beg them with water and beer to make you pregnant so that you will not lose on both ends. Marriage, Kusai, child, no way. Huh? I will also advise you, stop talking to Chikodi. Don't go to her again before you send her out of her husband's house. This is my message to you. I am going. Look at the way you are dressed. <laughs> Trust my daughter. With pancake megumoa irum kwacha. Oh yes, pancake megumoa irum kwacha. Well, look at this. Nagano. Miss Barbo. I shan't miss. <laughs> this is no gota. Pancake, one packet a day. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> you them, I beg your All the good things in the world, you desire them. Oh God, it's too late now for me. <laughs> you are looking for a handsome man to marry you. Old mama. Old mama young. Old mama young. Old mama young. Old mama young. <laughs> If I had known, I would have married a Makache. Who can be your even a Gouvern? Chikode, no. the goat has finished my yam ban. What happened? Me wonder. Talk to me. What happened? Chay. Talk to me. What I happened? have lost Namde. Mban. Mban. Amunma. Abiyo. Abiyo. Namde mame. Stop that noise. Namde has married a white woman. A female Hitler. No. So Nan is alive. So Nan, my son is alive. Thank hey, God. I thank you, Lord. Dying and marrying a white woman, are they not the same? Will he come back again? He won't come back. No, my son will come back. He will not die in Germany. He's going to come back. Bano. Namde has finished me. Uncle, just be hopeful. All is not lost. Nine. If I may ask, if our son has gotten married to a white lady, is it not a thing of joy? What thing of joy? That our son is married. White women hold their husbands hostage. He may never come back again. No! My son will come back. I know the God I'm serving. My son must come back. He must come back. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Wanda. Hey. Hey, Wanda. What do you think? 
It sounds interesting. Are you in support? I'm not in support. It is my wish. <laughs> <laughs> This one you feel like coming back by this time. It seems your exam was too tough. Hmm. <laughs> Mama, we were enjoying ourselves in school because we have finished our final exams. Really? <laughs> Guess what? Mm. I showed them that I am a good cook. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you should now. I'm not surprised, my dear. Are you no longer my daughter? Uh -huh. I am a good cook, so you should be a good cook. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Connor, I know what you can do. I know you come out in flying colors. Did I teach you in primary school? Oh, <laughs> thank you, madam. You and your friends should go to the kitchen and carry what I prepared for you. I'm sure it will be wow. for both of you. Another feast! <laughs> very, very soon. <laughs> You are like a son to me. There is something I would like you to do. Uncle, what is it? I would like you to get married. It is good for a man to marry on time. But uncle, how can I raise a family in a strange land? No! A lot of people who went from exile raised families married there. And mind you, after so many years, those killers in your place would have died. So if you get married and go back to your place, you will be respected a bit more. But uncle, I need, I, I need so many things to... Listen, 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 Afam. It doesn't cost much to marry in Amokwe. Our town is not like other towns where daughters are sold in the name of marriage. No. And mind you, there are many beautiful girls in this village and in the office where you work, who have good behavior. Hmm? I have heard you, uncle. Mm. But, but there is no but. Look, I want the best for you. Besides, the chairman said he would support you. He has very high regard for you. You are doing well. Very well. Equally, I am here for you. So let's go. <laughs> let's go. Afam, let's go. Come. I want you to think about it. You would be happy with her. Hmm? What do you say? Think about it. You're the talk of the town. <laughs> How? You're marrying the most handsome man in Amokwe. Well, it is not my fault. I wonder how your children will be. <laughs> Do I need to tell you? Of course, 
they are going to be the most beautiful and handsome kids in Amokwe. Oh. You refuse to marry a Kenya. Please don't mention that name here. You know, it is not in the character of our lineage to marry people like that. You know. Oh, please don't even talk about that name here. I feel like for me to <laughs> You see what you've cost? I can see you're in love with Afan. Of course. I am in love with him. Well, he is the toast of every young girl in Amukwe, including Miss Welekebe. <laughs> Imagine Miss Welekebe, that witch. <laughs> you are a very handsome man. <laughs> you come and see me up, Jerry. Of course. Mm. See you tomorrow. Bye. Amazing. I do not see anything wrong with that. Ma, everything is wrong with it. Everything. How can you marry my elder brother's daughter? To a total stranger. Who we do not know where he comes from. But I have told you everything about him. And now that is neither here nor there. Do you know your in-laws? Hmm? With time we will know them. It's not safe to go there now. Besides, they think he is dead. If we try to trace him now, they will find out that he's still alive and they may want to trace him to kill him. Do you know whether he's a freeborn or an outcast? Masi, as a Christian, I don't have anything to do with that. Will you seal your mouth before I put unquenchable fire into it? How can you open your mouth and voice out such a sacrilegious thing? How? Masi, Akunaya has accepted. I have accepted also. There is nothing anyone can do about it, including you. Ma, what do you say? You heard me. You want to bring abomination into this compound, into this family. You want to see this compound in ruins. I can perceive the smell of a decaying flesh. I can see this family in ruins, but it will not happen. That stranger will not set his foot into this compound. It won't. It won't happen. Ma, see? You are only jealous because none of your daughters, who is older than Akunaya, has been able to find a husband. Twenty of you cannot stop this marriage from taking place. You cannot. Eh, we shall know the male thirties from the female thirties. You cannot do more than a dead rat. Yes, you cannot do more than a dead rat. You think after killing my husband, I will stand and be listening to you again? Me? Yes, you killed him. I wanted to take Ozone to a specialist hospital. You refused, and he died. Because here, a woman has no say. But I am going to tell all of you that a woman has a say because you people have pushed me to the wall. Murderers! Murderers! If not for my brother's sake, I will blind you. Look at you. You think you can kill me the way you killed my husband? I will blind you too. Who are you? You cannot do more than a dead rat. Come, nothing will happen to you. Not even happen in this compound. You will see it will happen here. That marriage will take place here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, bet. 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 Do what somebody does. Who is this? Yeah, no. Love is beautiful. It makes the heart thrill with joy. Like morning glory. Dancing happily in the moon. Smiling to the world. Very beautiful, yet so fragile. Love dies like the morning glory as the sun becomes harsh on it. I don't want our love to ever die. I pray so, but nothing lasts forever. One day, one of us will die and our love will come to an end. That is the reality of life. The spiral of life we call living. Here today, gone tomorrow. That's the journey of our soul. From life to death, and death to life. Death is the part of life I don't like. No, death is not a part of life. It is the end of life and the beginning 
of another life. Well, let's forget this and talk about our love. I want to hurry to the station. I want to send a message to Adugo, my eldest daughter. Yes, what's the problem? Aneke, I wonder how an elder like you will stay at home and good suffers under partridge. What do you mean? Do you expect me to explain proverb to you as old as you are? Your elder brother's daughter is getting married to that stranger. And you are allowing it. I have talked to my Sinachi. But she is bent on giving her daughter to that stranger. What do you want me to do? Aneke. Aneke, listen to yourself. Her daughter. You are behaving as if you don't know her tradition again. She does not own her daughter. A child belongs to the father. And the father feels men. Yes, I know. Yes, yeah, I know. Then do the right thing. Do the right thing. The woman Sinaji has become so stubborn, very stubborn. Then put her in her right place. She's only a woman. Okay. Before a dog without teeth bites you, go to DK and tell him that since he's the father to the stranger, that you no longer accept the stranger as your in-law. What is your brother's? It's yours. I have spoken. Aneke, if you were not an elder, I would have asked my wife to fuck you like this. I should have given you always strokes of care. Dike, are you mad? You are the one that is mad. 
How can you cancel a wedding in which you were not directly involved? Eh? I could not left with my wife for the market to buy things for the wedding. You want to bring your party into other people's affairs? The same party in your house that drives cheaters away. Mind your tongue. Mind which tongue? Mind your tongue. Mind which tongue? I do go your first daughter. is older than my son in Namdi, who is in Germany now, married. Eh? Before you know it, I do go will become another Miss Mwelekebe, begging her family to marry her. God forbid. God will not forbid if you don't stop people's progress. Yes, your two daughters are supposed to be mothers by now. And again, okay, if such in time, saves life. Zonia has cost me. Oh, we are following in Zonia. In Zonia, a blind man. This is another blind man. You have finished. In Chicago, in Ago. opportunity to welcome the local government council chairman to come and support Afame Funa Ezilo in this great occasion. Give him a round of applause. Make Akuna happy like other women. 
Are you telling me that every woman married in Amokwe wedded in church? No, but... Wedding in the church is not a guarantee for a successful marriage. That is true. But my daughter would like to receive sacrament of matrimony. I know. But even if she wants it, she knows that's not possible now, based on the teachings of the church, especially that of the parish priest of Amokwe. I don't understand you. No, ma. You will understand with time. Please, Ava. Don't try to make things difficult for my daughter now, please. Mama, you're pouring water into a basket. What am I going to do? Everything is like a dream But how did it happen? My precious thing is gone Gone with the wind oh. Okini kam deme Oba go joro no manya, ori ni mono. Oh, amagi mi yenge bu, amagi onye mga juo. Before mi mi kabo, oba go joro no manya. Where do I go from here? The confusion is too much. What has happened to me? I'm short of words. I don't know what to say. Don't know whom to ask It's a misery It's a misery yeah. Where do I go from here? I don't know whom to ask It's a misery Some misery
was why Afam said that to you. Wait, 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 wait. There's something I want to get here. What Fadanyamu said, what has it got to do with Afam wedding Akuna? <laughs> Umma, I'm surprised that you have not understood. Understood what? Akuna's body has changed. Mm-hmm. Wait up. Are you saying that my daughter is pregnant? Hey! Come on. Ne ne ya. Ne ne ya. Icho me ya jama. Come on, 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 I took her to the hospital. That was why you didn't see me when you came. Hey. <laughs> you see? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but I thought the new law says that you cannot wear the pregnant woman with her wedding gown and veil. That is the new law. Mma. <laughs> Fadanyang said that he will not wed any pregnant woman again. Any woman that has given birth or pregnant will be wedded at the sacristy. You mean after Akuna has uh, given birth, mm -hmm. she can only wed at the sacristy, not in the presence of the whole congregation before the altar of God? Eh? No, no. Chikode, Father Nyamu will not be allowed to succeed. He cannot subject my daughter to that situation. No, Mba. Mba. The Reverend Father did that to encourage young couples to wait before the uh, women get pregnant and for the young girls to keep their virginity before marriage. Eh, but most men will not uh, agree to wed a woman until they are pregnant to be sure they are fertile. Mma, such men are tempting God. That is true. You know in most cases, uh, such women might have miscarriage after wedding and they might not have pregnancy soon. That is true. That is true. Chikod. Mm -hmm. Something has to be done about Father now. Something like what? You are an executive member of the Catholic Women Organization of our parish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Organize the women to write a petition to the Bishop of Enugu so that he will be removed. It's, it's getting too much of him. Moreover, we can just chip in that he sleeps with small, small girls around. Mm. Do you have any proof? What other proof do you need? It's only people like you in this village that do not know. Everybody knows that he sleeps around with small, small girls. Mm. Let us apply caution in this. 
I will think about it. Hmm? Better think fast. Now let's talk about what I said. I'll be going, but let me finish my drink first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you've got an admission. You too. Me, me what? Oh, this is admission. Oh, man. come on. <laughs> Don't even say that. Um, well, I'm hoping to go back to school next year. That is after putting to bed. Mm, mine is that. If the rich be serious. Mm. By next year, we'll carry the knot. Wow, that will be nice. You know, I can't wait to, to see you change your mind. That's my prayer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why is the baby going out? Oh. <clears throat> what do you... Mine, you're welcome. Uh-uh. That... Why did your husband behave this way? I don't know. Did you have any problem with him before he went to work? No, not at all. Maybe somebody provoked him. That is what I'm here to find out. Akuna, there is no smoke without fire. Find out what is wrong with him. I should be on my way now. Alright, uh, are you going back to school? No, by Monday. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's weekend, I forgot. Okay, okay take care. Take care. Alright, bye bye. Outside. 
What is it? Eh? What is it? Eh? Is anything the matter? Hmm? Yeah, the suffering. It's inside. Stop crying and back. Eh? I could be here. Let me go and see. Afam! Afam! How to treat a pregnant woman. That is not it. Ma, it doesn't happen always. But I couldn't have told me it has been happening like that for some time now. Mas Naji, what is happening now is normal in every young marriage. They are trying to understand themselves. Is that what you are saying? Eh? Chikodi, so this is what you are saying. I thought you said that family is quiet and kind. How am I sure you are not the one instigating him? Now listen, I don't want you to interfere in this marriage. I have to interfere. I have to interfere before I can kiss my only daughter for me. Masnachi, if not for God, I would... Mm -mm. I'm sorry for what I said. I know you have always treated Akona like your own daughter since you taught her in primary school. But all the same, I want you to help me talk to our fam. Sorry for what came out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I fed you. Um, I'm supposed to attend the CW executive meeting. Hmm? I fed you. Mazi! Our fam, I am not happy over what has been going on between you and your wife. Tell me. Does Akuna disrespect you? No. Doesn't she show love to you? She does. Akuna, it's okay, my daughter. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Listen, you have to take things easy. You know you are pregnant. There's something I want you to learn. Marriage is sweet and sour. You have to endure and you should be patient. Okay? Things will be alright. Then why this cold war between the two of you? You throw your face at Sokoto. She throws her own to Calabar. Eh? If you're not careful, she might lose that pregnancy. Uncle, I am sorry. I will try and make amends. I still love Akuna. Oh, Mama, mm -hmm. I have suffered though. I have suffered in this marriage. I've suffered so much. She's okay. She's okay. Then go and show it to her. Yes.
Welcome. Welcome, my daughter. Alpha. <laughs> Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Well, fine, Mama, and you? Fine. Hey. Welcome. Hey. Let me get it for you. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, should we go inside? Ah, no, Mama. I want to sit outside. I need fresh air. I know. Why I don't you don't want to go inside? Uh, no, let's stay here. I don't want my morning glory to feel hot so that you'll always look fresh. <laughs> I know. Mama, Afam is killing me with love. Eh? Uh, Afam, please don't kill my daughter with love. You know? <laughs> I believe in love, one thing. Slow and steady. <laughs> Mama, don't listen to her. She's the one pampering me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so both of you are killing yourselves with love. <laughs> That's my baby too. Why, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Mama. <laughs> uh, what should I get for you now? Okay, Mama. <laughs> uh, what do you want? I don't want uh, what? I want to eat, Mama. Anything. Food. No. I don't want to eat something. I know you want to eat my soup. Of course. <laughs> I have soup in the house. Let me get it. Hey, 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 Thank you very much. We have got the biggest news in this family in recent times. Now, yeah. tell me what but, is the news? But first of all, come and join me dance. After dancing, I will tell you the news. Oh, Bob and Colobia, Bob and Colobia, I got Michael. It's in Belogolo, all on Belabia. Ejin baska, biam batag, abo yen de fu, awa chi chi chi, awa yo 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 yo, awa achikolo, 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 achikolo. Naimban, if you don't tell me what is making you happy, I will not continue. Chikode, don't kill my morale. I've promised you, eh? Let's dance. After dancing, I give you the news. Eh? The whole news. Nah, I can't wait to hear the good news. I've, I've made my promise, eh? Baba Nkolo do you know the news? Our son Nande has sacked the white German wife. Chimu Wene Uye Uye Onye Nefa Di Alaro Lao Chimne Fa Di Alaro Lao Hey Wanda Onye Nefa Di Alaro Lao Onye Nefa Hey! My God is good! Now! Do you know the bigger news? Mm -mm. The bigger news is that he has promised to come back in four months' time. Here. To marry here. a Nigerian wife. Here. 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 Preferably here. 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 a local girl. A The letter. Mm. It is no secret. You can read everything inside here, yeah. word for word, letter for word. But no, back back to me. I read eh? it inside. No. Let's go. Any way you like. Ha! Man, you handle it. I told you that man must be back. And that makes you. You are doubting me. <laughs> <laughs>
Ya fam. Wo kana fam ni fam. Eh? No 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 no. I wonder. Ya fam. All right. When I come back, I'll see you. I wonder. Just a minute. How can you pass here without greeting anybody? Eh? All right. When I come back. Alpha. Alpha. Alpha.
the doctor nor the midwife. So let him sleep. Hmm? If you ask me, I would have loved him to be part of this level experience. But since two of you think differently, so be it. Nay, when we get to the hospital, I'll come back to pick our things. Okay. Ako, look at this. That's okay. That's good. That's good. Uh. <laughs> no, it's not a crying matter. Don't cry. See, Akuna, if you cry in this your first experience, then you will continue to cry like this in other ones. Don't cry. Don't cry. That's okay. That's good. Ah, could be happiness and a la riti a la riti e wanda um ha your mother and I danced my great singana to the letter. Mm. <laughs> hey, Wanda. Mm. Thank you. I think you should start going to church. Since you set your feet on this compound, you have refused to go to church. Yet I've respected you as an adult. Uncle, is there any problem? You are asking me, DK, I was one If there's a problem, yes, there is. For some days now, 
you have been behaving like somebody who has lost one of the knots in his brain. Eh? Look at you. You woke up and you did not ask about your pregnant wife. Eh? For the information, your wife has been in labor since last night. And you pretend not to know. Uncle, I am sorry. Sorry for what? Be sorry for yourself. Be sorry for yourself. You have said that sorry to me more than a dozen times. I don't want it again. For your information, your wife has gone to Divine Mercy Hospital and Maternity Hall. I will go there. Wanda. Hey, Wanda. I we sure this is a normal human being? Eh? I'm enjoying this food. You are not doing the same. Or uh, is it because you are the one who cooked it and the aroma has uh, filled your stomach? No, my beloved. There is this dream I've had for three times now. I have even tried to interpret the dream, but I can't. <laughs> you want to become just a dreamer? <laughs> It is giving me serious concern. Okay, Jacinta, what is a dream? I always dream about a woman giving me a baby. And each time, she leaves me with this baby. Even when I try to go after her, I won't see her again. It has happened for three times now. This must be serious. It is not an ordinary dream. That is why it's disturbing me. Let it not disturb you, my dear. No matter what it is, it cannot be a bad dream. Maybe God will soon answer our prayers. Is it for the woman of my age? Who has not ovulated for many years? No. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What of Sarah, the mother of Isaac? Hannah, the mother of Samuel? And Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist? Let us wait until the Lord. He will reveal this dream to us in no distant time. Now let us eat. No water. Let me get water. Baby boys. Hey, Wanda! Eh? Nka, I'm too full. Okwa, they are too much. I 
Reverend released too much. Where, where is he? He's at the hospital. Ah. <laughs> eh? This is releasing. Our farm has released it too much. <laughs> no, let me prepare and go and sit down. Let me eh? get prepared for them. Be well. Be well. This is releasing. Be well. 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 But how did it happen? My precious thing is gone, gone with the wind. Oh, oh, oh. oh can he come get me? Oh, my God, you're no man. Oh, really, man. Oh, oh. Where do I go from here? The confusion is too much. What has happened to me? I'm short of words. I don't know what to say. I don't know whom to ask. It's a misery. It's a misery. Where do I go from here? I don't know whom to ask. It's a misery. Oh, it's a misery.